Hello from Famous American News and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Bobby Weigand, a pioneering figure in American television journalism, passed away at the age of 97. With a career spanning seven decades, the majority of which was spent at NBC5, she was a trailblazer from the moment she joined the station two weeks before it debuted in September 1948. Her path from Lafayette, Indiana, to becoming a cherished Texas television star demonstrates her enthusiasm, resilience, and pioneering work in broadcasting. Her early years were dominated by emotional obstacles, including the death of her mother at the age of 16, which shifted her focus from a potential career in medicine to broadcasting and psychology, which she followed with zeal at Purdue University. Her transfer to Texas, along with her husband Phil Weigand, paved the way for a famous career marked by versatility, which included anchoring live game shows and advertisements, as well as pioneering a general interest talk show as its first female host. Her interviews with celebrities ranging from Bob Hope to Bradley Cooper earned her national attention and prizes, including membership in the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Gold Circle and a Gracie Award. Beyond her professional accomplishments, her personal life, which includes a lengthy marriage to Phil Weigand and joint activities such as running a tree farm, gives dimension to her story. Rita McKenzie, well known for her portrayal of Ethel Merman in the legendary one-woman show, Ethel Merman's Broadway, passed away at the age of 76 in Los Angeles following a lengthy illness. Her husband, talent agent Scott Stander, confirmed her death. Mackenzie's passionate portrayal as Merman, known for Broadway hits including Anything Goes, Annie Get Your Gun, Gypsy and Hello Dolly, made her a beloved figure in the theater. Mackenzie debuted the role in New York in 1988 and captivated audiences with her powerful renditions of hits like There's No Business Like Show Business and Everything's Coming Up Roses, touring across the United States, Europe and Asia, cementing her show's status as one of the longest-running one-woman shows in theatrical history. Born in Woodbridge Township, New Jersey, her skills went beyond her Merman tribute. She played several roles as Lita Encore in Ruthless the Musical and opposite Barbara Eden in The Female Odd Couple. In her later years, she continued to have an impact on the theater industry by co-producing All Things Equal, The Life and Trials of Ruth Bader Ginsburg with her husband. Rupert Holmes commended her efforts, citing her vital insights and warm, funny demeanor. Her legacy as a theatrical giant and a great woman lives on via her husband, Scott, children Jennifer and Derek, grandchildren and siblings, and has had a significant impact on the arts and those she knew. Greg Hins, the longtime drummer for the renowned Canadian rock band Helix, passed away at the age of 68 after a gallant, nearly year-long fight with cancer. His drumming career with Helix began in 1982, and it was filled with energy, perseverance, and unrivaled dedication to music until 1996, when he left and returned triumphantly in 2009. Helix frontman Brian Vollmer relayed the news of Hinz's death, expressing tremendous anguish over his loss, comparing him to a brother. The band and its fans are mourning the death of a musician known not just for his skill on the drums, but also for his irrepressible spirit and sense of humor, which brightened even the most serious situations. His extraordinary recovery from a serious fall a few years ago demonstrated his resilience as he returned to perform with vigor despite tremendous hurdles. His hilarious yet tough nature made him a popular figure not only within the band, but also among fans and peers. Aside from his musical abilities, his ability to bring people together, paired with his gift for lightening the mood, 
made him an invaluable presence in the rock community. His legacy lives on beyond the stage, in the hearts of people who knew him and appreciated his music. As Helix prepares to commemorate his life and contributions to music, his legacy will definitely carry on through the tremendous beats and rhythms he left behind. His enduring energy and contributions to Canadian rock music will be remembered as Helix honors his memory with their songs. Ben Lanzarone, a prominent composer known for his work on legendary television episodes such as The Love Boat and Happy Days, passed away at the age of 85. Lanzarone passed away quietly in his sleep on February 18th, 2024, after a struggle with lung cancer, leaving a legacy that touched many people's hearts through his music. His wife of more than 45 years, actress Eileen Graff, was by his side when he died, bringing an end to a spectacular personal and professional partnership. His career was defined by his ability to capture the essence of the television age of the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s, with his work appearing on Dynasty, Mork and Mindy, Laverne and Shirley, The Tracy Ullman Show, The Colbys, and Mr. Belvedere. His musical prowess was demonstrated not just by the concerts that featured his unique sound, but also by the awards he garnered, including the ASCAP Most Performed Underscore Award in 1986. His meeting with Eileen Graff on the set of Grease, where he worked on the music video for Summer Nights, turned into a lifelong collaboration. The couple later worked together on the film Mr. Belvedere, in which Graff played Marsha Cameron Owens. He is survived by his wife Eileen and daughter Nika, and he left a lasting mark on the entertainment business with his famous compositions and the love story that followed his extraordinary career. Carl Weathers, a versatile talent whose career spanned from the gridiron of professional football to the silver screen's most memorable roles, passed away at the age of 76. Weathers' journey from an undrafted NFL player to an iconic actor showcased his relentless pursuit of excellence across diverse fields. Before his acting career catapulted him to fame, Weathers was a formidable athlete. Playing college football for the San Diego State Aztecs, he demonstrated exceptional skill on the field, a testament to his dedication and athletic prowess. Despite not being drafted in the 1970 NFL draft, Weathers' determination saw him joining the Oakland Raiders, followed by a stint with the BC Lions in the Canadian Football League. However, it was his transition to acting that unveiled his true calling. His acting career was marked by iconic roles that have left a lasting mark on Hollywood. As Apollo Creed in the Rocky series, he brought to life a character that was not only a formidable boxer, but also a symbol of resilience and courage. His portrayal earned him a place in the hearts of fans worldwide, making Apollo Creed a beloved figure in sports cinema. In addition to Rocky, Weathers' role in Predator as Colonel Al Dillon further cemented his status as a versatile actor capable of delivering powerful performances in both drama and action genres. In remembering Carl Weathers, we celebrate a man whose life was a testament to the power of following one's dreams. From the football field to the film set, Weathers demonstrated that with talent, determination and hard work, one can leave a lasting legacy. His contributions to both sports and entertainment will be remembered for generations to come, and his spirit will continue to inspire those who dare to dream big. Dexter Scott King, the influential son of civil rights leader Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King, passed away at the age of 62 after a valiant battle with prostate cancer, as confirmed by the King Center. Born into a legacy of activism and leadership, King bore the weight of his father's monumental legacy from a young age. Following in his footsteps to champion the principles of non-violent resistance and social justice, Despite the immense pressure of his heritage, he carved his own path as a steadfast guardian of his father's legacy, serving as the chairman of the King Center and president of the King Estate.
His commitment to preserving and promoting his father's teachings was evident in his tireless efforts to protect the intellectual property of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s work, ensuring that future generations would continue to learn from and be inspired by one of history's most transformative figures. His life and work, deeply intertwined with the civil rights movement's legacy, remind us of the enduring impact of the King family's commitment to justice, equality, and peace. Dexter Scott King's dedication to his father's memory and his contributions to civil rights advocacy will be remembered as a significant part of his legacy. Alec Musa, known for his role as Del Henry on the popular ABC soap opera, All My Children, passed away at the age of 50. The news of his death was confirmed by his fiancée, Paige Press, on Instagram. She shared her grief and heartbreak, noting the depth of their happiness together. Musa's passing occurred on Friday night at his home in Del Mar, California, though the cause of death was not disclosed. His journey to fame began when he won the second season of the reality series I Wanna Be a Soap Star, which led to his memorable role on All My Children from 2005 to 2007. Aside from his success in soap operas, Musa also ventured into film and other TV series. He appeared in the 2010 movie Grown Ups, starring alongside notable actors like Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, Maya Rudolph, and Salma Hayek. His talent also shone through in TV series such as Rita Rocks in 2009, Desperate Housewives in 2011, and Road to the Altar in 2009. Adam Sandler, who worked with Musa in Grown Ups, paid a heartfelt tribute to him on social media. Sandler expressed his disbelief and sadness over Musa's passing, remembering him as a wonderful, funny, good man, and extending his thoughts to Musa's family. He was also known for his work as a model, having been associated with Abercrombie and Fitch. His fiancée, Paige Press, remembered him as the best dog dad to their puppy Roo. The acting community, fans and loved ones mourn the loss of Alec Musa, remembering him for his contributions to television and film and his warm, loving nature. Glynis Johns, a distinguished actress celebrated for her roles on both stage and screen, notably as Mrs. Banks in Mary Poppins, and for premiering the song Send In The Clowns in Stephen Sondheim's A Little Night Music, passed away at the age of 100. Her death was confirmed by her manager, Mitch Clem, who noted her passing due to natural causes at an assisted living home in Los Angeles, marking the end of an era in Hollywood. John's renowned for her dedication to her craft, was a perfectionist who sought depth in her roles, aiming to bring a multidimensional reality to her performances. Her illustrious career was punctuated by a Tony Award win in 1973 for her role in A Little Night Music, showcasing her unique, husky voice through Sondheim's composition, a song that has since been covered by numerous artists. Despite losing the film version of the role to Elizabeth Taylor, John's regarded Send in the Clowns as one of the greatest gifts of her theatre career. Her legacy extends through generations of a theatrical family with roots in both acting and music. Her portrayal of the suffragette mother in Mary Poppins and her work in Broadway and film established her as a versatile and beloved figure in entertainment. Despite multiple retirements, her passion for acting and her acknowledgement of her talent drew her back to the theatre repeatedly. John's life, marked by global living, multiple marriages, and dedication to her family, reflects a rich tapestry of experiences that informed her compelling performances. Her passing is mourned by fans and the entertainment community, who celebrate her contributions to the arts and her enduring legacy. Chita Rivera, an iconic figure in the world of Broadway and a pioneering Latina artist, passed away at the age of 91. Known for her vibrant performances and dynamic presence on stage, her passing was announced by her daughter, Lisa Mordente, who cited a brief illness as the cause. Rivera's illustrious career spanned over six decades, during which she received 10 Tony nominations and won two, marking significant milestones in Broadway history. 
Her breakthrough role as Anita in the 1957 original production of West Side Story catapulted her to stardom, setting the stage for a career filled with memorable performances. Her resilience and passion for the arts were evident when she continued to dance and captivate audiences well into her later years, most notably in the 2015 Broadway production of The Visit. Her contributions were recognized beyond the theater as she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009, highlighting her influence and legacy as a trailblazer for Latina artists. Rivera's dedication to her craft was further honored when she received the Tony Award for Lifetime Achievement in 2018, a testament to her impact on theater and culture. As Broadway and the arts community mourn the loss of Chita Rivera, her legacy as a performer, storyteller, and pioneer will continue to inspire future generations. Her daughter's statement reflects the spirit of a life lived fully, dedicated to the arts, and imbued with passion, resilience, and love for storytelling. Chita Rivera's contributions to Broadway and her role as a trailblazer in the arts will be remembered and cherished.